Hey guys, this is Mrs. Hansa, and today we are going to be learning about the Pueblo Indians, and we're going to walk where the Indians walked, right in our own southern Utah. Okay. One of the things that they would eat are called juniper berries, and they come from this tree, and if you eat one, it kind of it has a pit in it. And it tastes really gross. <laughs> kind of like mint and soapy lavender. It's not very good, but it's really good for you. <laughs> I'm a little scared, but I'm going to try. So you can imagine being a Pueblo uh, Indian and you know living by this beautiful water source. So you're coming and getting your fill of water to drink and then you fill up your pottery uh, jars, made baskets with animal skins that kept the water in and they would carry that back to their homes. We came from our water source, which is over there, all the way um, behind those canyons. And so like Pueblo Indians, we walked from the water source and we have to climb all up this hill to get to our house. Okay, can you imagine? Just for a drink of water to cook with, to wash your hands with. That's a long way to get a drink. Okay, so these are the archaeological sites, or otherwise known as the last bits and pieces of where the Pueblo Indians lived. So, see how there's just the rock bits left. They would dig holes, but then they would create mounds of dirt to cover these holes, and they would climb inside, and that's where they would live. That's where they would sleep. Okay, so this is a great little photo here that they left for us. See, this right here is what it looks like inside the Pueblo home. And they would go down their ladder. This right here is where they would have their fire so that they could cook. And out there, so they, the smoke would come out. And this is one of the Pueblo people, and it looks like she has got her pottery jar that's filled with water so she's just coming back to her home and looks like they've got windows coming out and then here's their friend probably their sister or their mother and she is growing some squash and corn this was a great climate for squash and corn they would also hunt the animals that lived around here, like the, the deer and sheep and rabbits. So you can kind of get an idea of what it is like to be a Pueblo thousands of years ago. And it's just, it's a fun idea to try and think about how would you survive in this landscape this wonderful wilderness that we live in without air conditioning without food that just comes from the grocery store and you'd have to build your own home and think of materials like the sand and the rocks and the sticks that you would find just out here in the desert so something to think about anyway i'll see you guys next time love you bye